Yeah, you're right. Uh, do I have an inventory? I do. Let's ride. That sound like you can't oh, you're right. Heavens, whatever will we do? <laughs> that does it. Come on, kitty. Let's get down. Don't give up now. No, harder, like this. That's a spirit. Crap. is gruesome. My editor better print these in color. Now I have to get you some help, I suppose. Oh. Ah, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. Oh, crap. What are you? I'm a mechanic. And apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. I need a little help getting it finished, though. Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. This an authorized Corley Service Center? Now you could call this a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. Where'd you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer, right. we did nothing but restore this old hardtail together. 
I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. You live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. You seem more concerned with me than your bike. Hey, they're the ones who threw me in the dumpster and stole my gang. So it's not my fault I got in this mess. I was just trying to get my gang back. How's it look? It looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And someone stole my welding torch. Can you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. Where am I going to find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new new, just not broken into little pieces. You could start by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs the junkyard. How am I supposed to find your torch? I don't know. Set up a dragnet. Still can't believe someone would steal my torch. Who around here would do a thing like that? They're loyal. They're just dumb because the guy told them, like, I, you know, went on ahead, but it wasn't me. So they're just dumb. <laughs> Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. I don't have any money to pay you with. Hey, this one's free. I haven't touched anything besides a toaster for so long. Getting my hands on your hog has really been a pleasure. Gang's called the Polecats. Well, thanks. Don't sweat it. I gotta get out of this town, fast. Trouble with the law? Not in this county. Then what's the hurry? Someone tried to kill me. I'm after him. Why would somebody want to kill you? To get me out of the way so they could ambush the polecats. We better get this bad boy back on the road then, huh? Well, I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need any aspirin or anything. A gang's called the polecats. That's uh, why... That's like our tattoo, the skull, the hand, and the boot. That's why this is the game interface. I hate seeing her like this. Why? It's really my best side. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. When he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. Uncle Pete. Wish this gas can was full. Oh good, you're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. I heard you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you helped. Who'd want a picture of me bleeding? It's not the blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. Listen, I've got to stop an ambush. A ambush? Really? Where? <laughs> well, she's a reporter. She's supposed to sound annoying. Somewhere between here and Corville, my crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting, and there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. Um, uh, I, I... Yeah? This is hard for me. I, I need... Come on, man, spit it out! Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm without wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. 
All right, drive safe now. <laughs> it's empty. Car the whole time. Thanks for the lift. Now I got a quote for you. <laughs> so we'll stuck to Todd in a trailer. It's a stadium and the gas thing. Alright. Let's try the trailer. Either someone's doing some welding down there, or we're talking about some very sub-code wiring. <laughs> it smells like burning metal down there. Probably all that's holding this dump up. Hey, I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy. I don't got time to waste on bums like you. <laughs> nice. This view defines true beauty. His decor has a strong carnival coin toss flavor to it. Wouldn't look good on my bike. Hey, torch. <clears throat> That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. A pair of forks, a little gas, and we're set. looking around Todd's place. <laughs> Wait a minute. Those windows have bars on them? <laughs> you think they would have made out? I don't know. It's even sadder looking inside. Bars. He's just trying to get his bike fixed, man. Uh, refrigerator? Alright. What's in here? Meat? Okay. That's it? Like ah. 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 That's not one of Meat's many uses. <laughs> I had a dog with a funnel on its head when I was a kid. I don't collect art, and I also don't collect whatever that is. Kick the little tin doggy. Maybe later. I'm not putting my lips on that. I want the funnel. I thank the Lord yes, each not. day for the apocalypse. I hope he's not trying to bring these to life or anything like that. I don't collect art. 
And they also don't collect whatever that is. I don't collect art. And they also don't collect whatever that is. Can't get up there. Not a bad version, really. I don't collect art. And they also don't collect whatever that is. I nominate that as least offensive of show. I don't collect art. And they also don't collect whatever that is.